got my tank off the um, whatever you call that big tank where the radiator cap is it's sitting down here on the floor and I'm cleaning it up I'm going to rust treat that and paint it and uh, the big pipe that goes across the top of the motor from the radiator to the thermostats over here uh, that's off I'm going to do the same thing on that and I replace that piece of hose right there and this piece here is uh, brand new this one here gets cut in half it's new it's um yeah it's just a six foot piece I put one end here and the other end here and this gets cut in half and both ends go on that tank down there you can see this tank here that's where those two hoses are going to go when I cut cut it in half the two ends will go there all this rust this tank has a spot here where it's been welded up before and I don't remember doing that so I don't know if that was done before I it's kind of hard to believe it was done before I got it because it only had 600,000 miles and it was six years old when I got it so maybe I did that I don't remember but I know that tanks gonna cost a lot of money it's gonna be hard to get so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and rust treat it and paint it and the same thing on this pipe here Well, I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around until it's clean, and I'll put that um, rust treatment stuff on there, let that soak for or dry for a day. It says 24 hours on the directions. Got that pretty well scraped down for the most part, and see some more blisters over here. I'm going to get. That's just a mounting ear, that's not going to leak. And take one of these Scotch Brite pads that I use for body work. And look at the series I just did on painting the hood, fixing the hood, and painting it on the truck. And uh, get more detail on these things. That stuff I'm going to spray on here, that treatment, will soak in to this rust and it'll stop it from working. Stop the rust from continuing. At least until some little cracks or whatever get into the paint and start working their way through that. Start it rusting again. But we got 22 years out of it the first time. We clean it up and get another 10 years out of it, I'll be happy. 10 years I'll be in my 70s. I won't be um, worrying too much about the condition of the truck anymore, I don't think. I hope not. hope I'll be retired by then and just doing jobs at home. But we'll do this all the way around and then uh, wipe it with some brake cleaner. Yeah, wipe it down with some brake cleaner and then um, go ahead and put that treatment on there. I'm looking at these mounting ears on this, um, or brackets, whatever you want to call them. Down inside there, I'm going to have to scrape that with something, a screwdriver, and try to get that out of there as much as I can and try to get that spray that I'm talking about down in there because boy that'd be a fine place for this to start leaking because I can't really get in there and treat that good 
and another one on this side. So I am going to get in there with a screwdriver and scrape out as much as I can and some air hoses or a, and get an air hose in there and uh, try to get that cleaned out enough to to put the spray in there too. I'm going to go ahead and DA the top of this. So I'll probably DA the bottom too a little bit. With some, what size paper have I got on here? I got some 120 on here, I think. Yeah, 120. Got a little update on this uh, project here. Got that tank painted, but it's not painted the way I wanted to. Something uh, happened that I didn't know about. I bought this product. This is what I wanted to get, but it being $10 at the parts store and they showed me this one but they didn't really know they didn't even know that this stuff existed but they found it and pointed it out and it was like seven dollars and um, it's it's I'm not saying it's not a good product it's just not what I really wanted because it turned out to be paint I thought this was the rust treatment just like this one but it's not it has that in it it's cheaper and it's also the paint well since that tank was not in as bad a shape as this pipe is I'm not complaining I just didn't know that this was a one-step thing it soaks into the rust treats it and paints at the same time and it's cheaper sounds like it might be better in the long run I don't think so because if it's going to paint at the same time I don't think it's going to soak in near as much as this stuff does this stuff is really thin it's almost like gasoline when it goes on and um, it soaks right into the rust and this has to uh, stay on there for 24 hours before you you paint it I'm going to use this I had to go back and buy a can of this and um, what I'm doing now I'm going to try to record <coughs> is burning the rust the rust is in bad enough shape on this thing that uh, let's see if we can get a close up this is after a lot of hammering and chiseling if it was flat or closer to flat I would have used a needle scaler I'm not getting a lot of this rust off it's on there tighter than I uh, thought it was so something I've done over the years is just use a torch and that uh, takes the rust off pretty good. <coughs> I already torched this part here and then suddenly remembered I'm not videotaping so One thing I don't like is that a whole lot of smoke is coming out. I don't know if the inside of this pipe was treated with something that I'm burning off or not. I hope not. <laughs> but I'm not going to get the pipe red hot. I'm just passing over this. I'm watching the flakes of rust light up. All that'll brush off real easy. All those flakes that are lighting up red hot, that'll brush off real easy. And 
most of this is just on the bottom side of the pipe when it's installed. And I never saw it on the top side. I didn't know it was getting this bad. a torch near concrete you got to make sure you don't have a direct flame on the concrete because the concrete has air trapped in it and you'll heat that air up it'll expand and it'll explode and crack the concrete and cause little miniature fragments to shoot out and you sure don't want that in your eyes Okay, let that cool down a little bit, and uh, this should all brush off pretty good. All the loose stuff will brush off pretty good. I think I'm still getting a lot more of it off with the scraper. I couldn't get any more off with the scraper before I used the torch. But after the torch, then I used the brush and the um, scotch Bright, And then I went over with the scraper and even though I got glasses on, I felt the little fragments uh, hitting my face that were coming off. But I'm pretty much done with that. I didn't record it though. But um, I was just going over it with the scraper. And a lot of little stuff was coming back off again. Takes a little while, but since it was like $350 for the lower pipe. The upper one, I don't, it's probably going to be close to the same price. I shouldn't I have to buy it now that I'm treating it and um, painting it. And I'll keep an eye on it. And if it needs to be done again after a while, three, four years, whatever, then I'll do it again. Anything to keep from having to uh, pay that kind of money for a pipe that shouldn't cost that much. I'm going to run this DA sander on this pipe now, or try to. Let's see how that works. Got it pretty well cleaned up. I don't know what that mark is there. Maybe something was rubbing on it that it's not rubbing anymore because it's rusted. Um, but we're still in pretty bad shape here on on part of it as far as the pitting goes. But the shiny part is steel. That's um, we're through the surface, and the rust is still down in the pits. But that's just the bottom side. The top side's not so bad. It still has some paint on that. Well, I really need to get a blast cabinet, a sand blast cabinet. I don't have one. This would have saved me a lot of time if I did. I probably didn't need to use the torch since I used the DA sander. And um, that did a lot more than the torch did. But the torch trick still works. There's places that have uh, shapes to them that you cannot get into with a, a sander. And the torch still works for breaking loose 
uh, rust and cleaning it off when you can use a torch when you can get away with it okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just clean this off with some um, uh, what do you call it brake cleaner and then um, and then paint it with the uh, with the uh, Permatex rust treatment that's part number eight one eight four nine I just got a jack handle in the vise there or a piece of pipe or anything you want to use and I just kind of stuck the pipe on that handle so that I can kind of spin it around and paint it in that position. Got this painted up probably half an hour ago. You're only supposed to wait two minutes between coats. Some of it's shiny on top and some of it's not shiny, so I guess I didn't get the coats on all that even, but I only put two coats on. Um, Got to wait 24 hours before I can put a top coat of paint on it. Got this pipe painted, the first coat, about maybe less than an hour ago. I'm going to put it. Uh, another coat on it put that on there uh, I already covered that it's um, let it sit for a day and then uh, I took the scotch bright pad here and cleaned it up a little bit wiped off whatever few little bumps got on there from dust or whatever and then put a coat of black spray paint enamel it's just something I found in my junk. I don't know where I got it. It was probably a closeout sale. Grandpa's store. You'd have to be local in the St. Louis area to remember that. Uh, so it's an old can. Grandpa's closed down probably 15 years ago. Anyway, it works. It still sprays. And uh, it uh, got the first coat on there. I'm going to put a second coat on it now. So this thing here... When it's dry in a day or, or two, I'll be able to put it on. I took off work for a week in order to get some things like this done around here so I got time to do the job right. Um, not like the pipe I did on the truck. When I changed the water pump, I painted one of the pipes on that, and it was a rush job because I was still under dispatch. I had to get it done real quick and couldn't... Um, do it the way I wanted to. Well, I'm doing this one the way I wanted to. This tank here has got, look at all those flies. I don't know what the deal is with flies. It must be the season because there's farms around here and they're tilling and and, uh, and collecting their, their stuff and so flies are big right now. Anyway, just a little bit of a nuisance with them. That'll be, it's getting cold so they'll be gone in a day or two going to DA this a little bit with some real fine paper and then uh, put another coat on it. Got all my new hoses are repaired pipe and uh, tank and all my new hoses on and the antifreeze is filled up ready to go back to work. 